Should you be the first on your block to buy a new or redesigned car? Consumer Reports Reliability Survey says that sometimes this can work out, but sometimes you can get burned. Take the new for 2014 Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra. They had a tough first year, with their reliability dropping far below average. But this doesn't mean GM can't do okay right out of the gate. In their first year, the Cadillac CTS had above average reliability, and the new Corvette and Chevy Impala V6 were average. We expect Toyota and Lexus to build reliable cars from day one. Years of history prove this. True to form, the redesign for 2014 Highlander is very reliable, as is the new Lexus IS350. The new Toyota Corolla enjoys above average reliability too. Another company that's building a great track record for trouble-free launches is Mazda. The redesign for 2014 Mazda 6 has excellent reliability. So does the CX-5 small SUV with its new 2.5 liter engine. And the Mazda 3 isn't that far behind with average or better reliability. Subaru has also been doing well with excellent reliability for non-turbo versions of the Forester. There are some surprises too. The updated Volkswagen Passat with its new 1.8 liter turbo engine did really well out of the gate, and VW isn't known for their reliability. Kia had a good year too. Not only is the new Kia Cadenza impressively luxurious, it also has excellent reliability. The new Kia Soul comes in above average. Honda's luxury division, Acura, typically builds super reliable cars, just not in their first year. The MDX and RLX are both average. Okay, but not great. Now the bad news. Not all Japanese cars are created equal. Nissan's been struggling. The new Versa and Rogue are okay, but many other Nissan products like the Altima, Sentra, and Pathfinder all have poor reliability. Each ranks near or at the bottom of their respective segments. Nissan's luxury division, Infiniti, has its share of problems too. The new Q50 sports sedan has the least reliable infotainment system on the market and the QX60 SUV is trouble prone too. Jointly developed, the Scion FRS and Subaru BRZ are a blemish on Subaru and Toyota's records. Both are super fun, but have poor reliability. Finally, Chrysler's been having trouble introducing reliable cars. The important new Jeep Cherokee four-cylinder is the least reliable new small SUV you can buy. Also, while we love how the updated for 2014 Grand Cherokee drives, its reliability also fell far below average. Our advice remains the same. If reliability is really important to you, skip the first year of a new model. Give the manufacturer time to get the bugs out. For more on reliability, check out Consumer Reports online.